medical benefits to it. And Definitely. I don't understand. And half the time people are like, you're high? Like, I couldn't even tell. And I was just like, so why is it such a yeah, bad thing? Exactly. Like, yep. Yeah, exactly. Yep, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, so I just, I don't understand when people are against it. I feel like they've never tried it. And I feel like if they had, like, they would understand. And whether or not they choose if it's right for them, they'd understand that, like, oh, well, this isn't, like, this big bad thing that we are making it out to be. There's a lot of misconceptions. And they're, and they're constantly being propagated by the uh, No One Question 3 campaign, actually, which we're going to get into later. But uh, they've been saying some really fun little lies <laughs> on, their, uh, on their website, on Should the we, other, other Oh, we website. got a phone call. Let's we take the call. call. Let's All see right. who's on the phone. Hello, who's calling? Uh, hey, what's going on? Is this the uh, Two Guys show? <laughs> two, guys, two hotheads where activism happens? Yeah, that's us. What's up? There we go. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Who's this guy? G- g- give me a second. I-, I have to walk out this building. I didn't know you guys would answer so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you're just expecting to keep calling? Man, you're, you're persistent. I like that. What's your name? Uh, my name is Raya, but on YouTube, I'm known as uh, Child's Play Ninja. Um, dude actually sent me a video response uh, for the Juggalo stuff. Yeah, yeah. With the FBI. What do you have to say about it? What do you it? think about that whole thing? Well, I'm a Juggalo myself. Yes. I heard the ninja in your name. I knew. <laughs> so, yeah, have you been? Exactly. Have you seen this happening where people have been being targeted because they're Juggalos? Oh, I, I, I've been actually. Tell us about um, that. That's the whole thing. I was. Um, uh, a while back, I was uh, I was at my friend's house. Like I'm not a criminal. I have a full time job. I'm a I'm a data analyst and uh, stuff like that. But cool. a long time, a few years ago, about two or three years ago, I was uh, over at my mother's house visiting, and uh, one of my friends had came back to town in, uh, for, from college because he was on break, and mm-hmm. this was uh, this is in Arizona. And I ended up, uh, my friends ended up calling me and they were saying, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go eat at Pizza Hut. And then we're going to go to the, the bar and play some pool, have a couple drinks, you know, just regular stuff. Mm-hmm. Sure. I, I said, okay, cool. You know, and uh, on my way to the, uh, on my way to uh, Pizza Hut, I get stopped and they told me I had a broken taillight. Okay. And I was like, hmm. And I guess the fuse might have just went out or something like that. I don't know yeah, what it happened. Yeah, ha- it can happen. It's happened. You know, it, it happens to all of us because you never see your taillights. So if you have a... Yep. Yeah, you don't even notice light, it. It happened to me once. You, you don't notice it. Yeah, you, you usually never notice until a cop stops you and exactly. tells you. Yeah, it's a license plate. Yeah, go so, ahead. So uh, I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that. You know, like, I'll get that fixed right away, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the cop goes, hold on for a second. And he walks back to his car, and then suddenly another, like, um, another unit pulls up. Uh Uh-oh, never a good sign. (laughs) It's it's an unmarked unit. And three other cops get out of the car, and they come to my car, because I have uh, have insane clown posse tattoos on my arms. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, they're gang-related tattoos now. So when when, when did this happen to you? When? What year? Well, this happened about two years ago. Two years ago? Two or three years ago. Okay. But, um... Even before all Like, I don't know if... Yeah, it happened before the FBI thing. I don't know if you know this, but Arizona, uh, an inc- one incident happened in Arizona where these uh, like these three or four kids ended up robbing a Domino's pizza guy yep. in a trailer park, yep. and they happened to be juggalos. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, see, we see this happen all the time. Did they, the, yeah. the, the police use certain cases that they can always find for any cause, and they try to sensationalize. Well, usually they blame marijuana, yeah, and, and they're blaming juggalos, and and <laughs> and they're trying to they victimize all you hand. guys. That that is absolutely ridiculous. So what happened from there with the police when they once you they, the the guys come up and you got the 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 insane claw and posse juggalo family on your arm? What what did they do? What happened? They come up to the car and they're like talking to me, and I'm like, what the hell? Okay, and. uh one of the cop, one of the, the other units that arrived, he's looking and he goes, "Hey, I like those tattoos. Would you mind if I take some pictures of them?" Oh, and I was shit. like, "Why do you want pictures of my tattoos?" I was like, I, I was totally ignorant to the whole situation. Like, sure. huh? What? Can you guys give me my tickets or work orders so I repair orders so I can go? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. And uh, I was already in the uh, Pizza Hut parking lot when they stopped me, right? Okay. 
And uh, the guy was like, oh, no, I just, I have a personal collection at home of, of people's tattoos. And that just sounded weird to me. It kind of creepy. Yeah. And I was like, and I looked at his uniform, and instead of, like, police, you know, it says police, but it has the patch under this as a gang enforcement. Yeah. And I looked, and I remember hearing about, like, them trying to classify John Wills as a gang in Arizona even a couple years ago. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute the hell are you doing? And I was looking at him like, are you serious? And he was like, oh, no, you know, it's because, and I was like, no, 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 no. It's not because of anything. You want you want to file me. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Damn. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Let's so, hear yeah. it for that. Let's yeah, see. Seriously. I want to... For knowing your rights. For knowing your rights. Well, so what ends up happening was he leaves uh, to and talks to his, like, squad buddies, and another one comes, and he goes, get out of the car. And I said, for, oh, okay. And, um, and I go, for what? And he goes, sir, get out of the damn car. And he opens the door and he pulls me out of the car. And they put me, and he starts yelling at me, why aren't you, uh, why aren't you cooperating with my officer? And I said, what are you talking about? He asked me for tattoos of his personal collection. I denied. Okay, listen, you have gang-affiliated tattoos. What are you doing driving around this late at night? And he started, like, screaming at me. And I was like, I'm going to freaking pizza hut that's why it's all in the parking lot <laughs> unbelievable it was at it was at that time my friends who were already inside pizza hut they can see out the window something was going on so they came out to see what was happening and one of my friends pulled out his phone and started recording yeah let's hear it for that yeah. well, I, bet, well, I, bet they didn't, I bet they didn't like that i have a feeling they did not like that <laughs> they saw him and they turned around and they said any Put the cameras away. If you ever have the camera out, you're going to jail. Damn. And they all put the cameras in their pockets. They're like, oh, damn it. You know, and I was like, you know that, you know you can't do that, right? This is po- private property, number one. And even in private or public property, they're allowed to record. Okay, you know you can't do that. And they were like, you need to shut up. And they were sitting there yelling at me and stuff. And then they pulled out my CD wallet in my car. They took pictures. They told me that if I don't allow them to take pictures of my tattoos, they were going to tow my car because technically it was not street legal because it had a broken taillight. And, um, yeah, all types of crap. Wow. And what did you do? I, I was literally there for an hour, and then he was, he was telling me that this is gang-related and, and all this other stuff, and they're going to stop this from happening. And one of the cops, I was like, I was sitting there because they had cuffed me by this time, and I was standing against my car cuffed and they were telling me uh i was telling one of the cops i said do you listen to music like do you listen to any music whatsoever yeah yeah and he said oh yeah but i'm a big google dolls fan <laughs> and I said, oh, okay well then they got a good gonna sit here and tell me you affect your life and your entire family that i oh, you can't find at least a thousand cases in America right now of a crime committed oh, by, by somebody Google who fan. happens to yeah. like Goo Goo Dolls. I'll guarantee you. Guarantee you. <laughs> oh, my God. And he God. said, oh, well, I, um, That's like when I don't someone... know. Yeah, you're probably. I mean, most likely because there's so many people. Exactly. And so, I mean, it, it was a huge mess. Yep. It, it, it was like, it was a huge mess. And, I mean, they ended up giving me a ticket and all this other stuff. And they let me go because they didn't have anything on me. But, I mean, well, they searched my car. Hey, listen, like listen, said, listen. We, we, they, want, we, want the, the, uh, like, we want all this documentation. Because yeah. this is... The, Juggalos we, we, fight we, back. We're actually running out of a little time. We were actually interviewing someone else. And we definitely took your call. And we love this call. We spent a lot yeah. of time on it. We want to hear more about this. Will you get in touch with us like today? Like send us a, we have a Facebook group, Two Hot Heads. Just hit us okay. up, send us a message on there. Yeah. We, we, we want all your links. The story, we want, sure. yeah, we want to follow up. We want to hear more. This is a great teaser. This was unfriggin' believable, dude. Oh, I, I got more stories of friends of mine and stuff like that. So there, there'll, there'll be a lot. And I had all, I've already submitted that whole thing to Juggalos Fight Back. We That's want this fantastic. out there. We want you on our show as a feature, as a main feature, yep. and give you all the time you need. Um, so what's your name again? Say your name, because I missed it in the very beginning. Uh, my real name. Uh, no, real name oh, is what, what's your name That's on? R-I. What's your name on my YouTube U- and where we can find you? My YouTube name, where you can find most of my videos, it's Child's Play Ninja. Child's Play is in yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Ninja. <laughs> awesome. All right, hell yeah, man! Thank you so much for calling, and we'll definitely talk to you again. Uh, this was an excellent oh. call, but we got to. Right. Yeah, I want you to email me too, Michael C underscore at one hundred at hotmail dot com. Okay, awesome. You got that? 
yeah, I got that. And I got all the links to your guys' stuff. Too, oh, so you, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit me up on you. YouTube, anything. Facebook. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for okay. that call. All right. Have a good one. You, you too. too. Wow. All right. Wow. See what we're doing? That's awesome. People questioned me on this. Uh, both Gary Johnson people and even friends are like, why are you, who do you have more important things to focus on? It's like, did you hear what that, that guy just went through because he supports an act? Because he listens to certain music. These like, are like drug pops. Any of our yeah. tattoos could yeah. be interpreted. And, you know, like I have a circle tattoo. Is that going to like, in, is that going to become some like gang and, sign? And you could that, tell like, this kid's a leader. You yeah. could tell. Yeah, he, he was, was he really well spoken. Together. He was really smart. He, I want to hear from those juggalos, man. Yeah. And and you know what? I make fun. I, I, I have my fun with juggalos What do you think about Danny? We were but, t- oh, sorry. God, you, you make, so say that again. Heather, I was just going to say, sorry. you know, I have my fun with juggalos, but honestly, the juggalos that I met have been some of the nicest and most intelligent and uh, you know, just cool kids, and that guy was definitely one of them. And so standing we'll up for their rights, exactly. I love knowing that. Knowing his rights, not submitting, not not yeah. you know, not just blindly allowing the cops into his car and and taking pictures of his tattoos and stuff. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So was... we'll we'll talk more about that. And that's big news this week too. It was in a Gawker article, like front page. It's like uh, it's everywhere. Yeah. They, it is. They, let's do this again. The insane clown posse. What happened this week? Um, as everyone knows, they. Uh, the FBI put out a nationwide gang threat assessment list with gangs like the Crips and Latin Kings. And that means if you have the, that kind of tattoo, if you have that kind of color, if you're showing that kind of support for those gangs, it's considered a crime. And if, especially if you're already in probation, they do things to you in court based on this. And now that insane clown posse was placed on this list, thousands of people in this country, if not more, have been harassed and, and put in jail. For wearing hatchet men, you know, for wearing the, the, the paraphernalia. It's crazy. And just in general, the gang profiling that in- exists in this country yeah. is ridiculous. It kind of exposes it for the fraud that it really that is. That a tattoo that you have or or, an, or a color that you wear can automatically signify you yeah. as a gang member. It, it, it really cuts to the and core of how much of it is. And eliminate your rights. <laughs> yeah, a fraud the FBI really is in some cases. And and, and uh, as Gary Johnson just said, yeah, yeah, his Gary quote, Johnson yep. said, he thought that it was a waste of... The FBI has too many resources and too much time obviously, on their hands. Obviously, if that's they're doing this said. to the... Yep. To the to this group. And that's what it is. Like, these guys that show up that he talked about, the guys in the suits, the guys, the, the drug uh, gang... Well, in, this, in the past, it was, the, you know, in a lot of cases, drug enforcement that we've been focusing on. But these guys are gang enforcement. They, they're getting a big salary to be a special type of agent. And they want to find any gang members they can. And the easiest ones to find are the ICP because they're so numerous. And they're actually more peaceful than the real gang members. So why not target them? Because in the media, you can laugh at them, you know. That's the game. That's what they've done to marijuana users. And, yeah, and exactly. That you it's can the same laugh. game. Yep. It's the same game. They're trying laugh to get money out mean? of you. It's not a serious issue. Yeah, it is a serious issue. <laughs> Anytime people are treated like that. Danny, what do you think about uh, this? <laughs> that, I mean, this you heard it. You were sitting here. What do you think? As a average you know, citizen in Massachusetts, what do you think? He didn't seem like he was a gang member to me. There you yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Bingo. Right on. Two hotheads were activism. That happened. was a great call, yeah, though. That, that was, was awesome. And, I, and it was so lovely having you, Denny, here on the show. I'm so excited to read uh, your comic book. And one more time, where can we find it? How do we? What's the easiest way to find your stuff? Um, look it up on Amazon Kindle and under The Surprise by Danny Marie and Jessica Vitale. Nice. All right. Fantastic. What an what a awesome idea. I'm, I've been I've been gaining my we really want to be in this call, next one we want to be in the next one yeah I know seriously what do we have to be do I got serious <laughs> do we have to have super like does it have to be established like we talked about like we have to be, have fire or something do we, no, we well, just be us like how does that work yeah, maybe. I don't know I haven't we'll decided yet yeah we'll work it out oh, yeah, we'll, work we'll work it out, out. alright we'll yeah. work it out creative minds we'll yeah. get creative minds going yeah, exactly we we'll got this We'll figure it out. <laughs> so uh, two hotheads where activism happens, yep. 617-606-4122. We're going to take a break. We're going to play some music. We're way over schedule. What do, we, what do we have for music coming up? Big dog over there. We've got the doors. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks for having me. Oh, Thank, hell yeah. yeah. Thank you to Danny, to Red Blazer, yeah, Danny's to Spencer, run out. to Rob over you have here. To, you have to go to work now, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, she has man. to work her day job now. So thank you for so much for coming in and taking the time and, and spending. Wonderful. Thank you, Danny. All right. Two hotheads, let's listen to some music. We'll be back. Back live. 
two hotheads where nope. activism happens. And we have we have Frank Capone on the line. Hello, hello. Frank. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hello, rock star. <laughs> I don't know about all that. How you guys doing today? We're doing awesome. We're doing a great show. Awesome. We uh we were just talking um we, we had an interview and then we got a, an amazing phone call from a juggalo uh, about the FBI versus the juggalos and the insane clown posse lawsuit against the FBI versus the FBI. Let me say that again. ICP just filed a federal lawsuit against the FBI. Um, we, it, it was all about uh, profiling and the effects that uh, juggalo is being called the gang, Frank. And uh, you, you are someone that speaks out for rights. We've seen you. You were in a viral video. Um, with, you know, with the Juggalos, a lot of the Juggalos that I've met, they've worked on some pol- politics with uh, Mass Can Normal, some Juggalo acts, like Illegal and... Uh, what was, illegal. Uh, I, I, I say that again? Illegal. Come and on. Uh, yeah. Spencer, what was the... Uh, 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 High Town Records. High Town Records. Thank yeah. you, Glenn Prescott. Yeah. They've raised yeah. thousands yeah. of dollars for Mass Can Normal and supported legalization efforts. Um, Frank... I know that you probably don't know a lot about this, but what do you think about the insane clown posse suing the FBI and that juggalos are considered gang members in the United States by the federal government at this point? I, I think that it's a sad state of affairs in this country when a man just can't let his nuts ping off the light post, you know, like he, like he just should be able to legally. No, I mean, I mean, the juggalos should be able to do whatever they, whatever they want to do. I mean, they're clearly not a gang. I mean, they do have, like, meetings and stuff, but to have all of their, you know, stuff confiscated, or I think it, what was it, they, they couldn't uh, sell it because it was considered a gang thing or something like that? Yep. Well, some of the stores were taking them out, and I guess Hot Topic has kind of responded and said, no, we're still selling Insane Clown Posse merchandise. Uh, so I think that's kind of cool that Hot Topic actually spoke back and, and said, no, we're carrying it. We are going to carry ICP. Um, but, you know, the bigger effect, really what Juggalos fight back about, and what the... Uh, uh, Violent J said in his video, you should definitely check that out. All activists should check out what Violent J said and what what this all means. Um, but basically what it means is that they're collecting, Insane Clown Posse right now is asking all the juggalos to submit their testimony about how they have been harassed by police and profiled. And the gentleman that just called in was so well-spoken, Frank. He was just like us. He stood up for his rights. And the way he was treated, just because he had two insane clown posse tattoos and he dared to have a tail light out in his car while he was trying to pick up pizza <laughs> i mean he was he was the, that's just, like when the crc we used to say that we were the, the you know that umass said that uh marijuana was like a, an imminent threat on campus so we said we were imminent threats to a burrito and i think juggalos are imminent threats to pizza hut like that yeah. is about as dangerous as they get <laughs> <laughs> Especially this guy. You could tell this guy was not, uh, he was just a normal, average Joe. So have you had experience, uh, to bring it back to you, Frank, have you, what, what do you think about all this and how, what, what is your experiences with, with police? How has that gone in terms of uh, being profiled or being attacked by police? I mean, I usually, um, I like knock on wood, you know, while I'm trying some wood. <laughs> I've had pretty good luck with the police um, in, in, in my time. But, I mean, as far as the jugglers, I mean, I've, I've known some jugglers, and, and uh, they get screwed with by the police all the time. And it's for no good reason. You know, it's just because they don't like their parents, you know, or, or they, they seem like they're, they're a certain way. And they get profiled, you know. And um, I try, I don't know, I do my best to try to keep a uh, congenial relationship with the cops, you know. Like um, when we were at the Fed the other day, 